Hello, I'm Sorrel Harriet. I'm from Leeds Trinity University. Um, I teach uh, computer science and the course I teach on is quite practice based. So for that reason I've recently been learning more about software development practices than I previously knew. And that also sort of caused me to reflect on my own experiences of developing software as an academic. Um, and from that I developed more of an interest in how academics develop software and more about the processes they're following rather than the tools that they adopt. Um, and if you want to read a bit more about the sort of backstory to this, um, you can look me up on Medium um, where I blog a bit, although I'm a bit new to blogging. Um, uh, I wanted to share with you a little bit of what I've done so far in relation to um, how academics develop software. Um, I've been speaking to acad academics about this and I hope to speak to many more, so please uh, talk to me if you can. Um, and one of the things that came up, or one of the patterns that's emerged to date is the sort of idea that it's maybe a bit more difficult for academics to adopt best practices. Um, and that interested me, so I thought, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to the industry experts and ask them what they see as being the sort of tenets of successful collaboration. And this is some of what they gave me, and I sort of prettified it a bit. Um, I'm a little bit, um, well, I, I suppose I'm just going to leave you with a question, and, and that question is sort of, what, is there anything um, here that's harder for academics to do, and so why, and, and I just want to start a conversation around that, so I'd be grateful if you come and talk to me at some point over the conference. Um, 